Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with a first impressions video of Floribel. So I pulled her tonight. I went ahead and maxed her out. I want to give an impression of this character at like Supreme Plus. And then most importantly, I want to give impression of her with her plus 10 weapon. Now I could take it a little bit higher, but in my opinion, this was kind of the break point for her, right? Like I play, I'm like top 10 arena player. I'm pushing high scores in Dream Realm. I'm trying to do like the top end content in the game. And I wanted to give her a chance with my other best S rank characters, right? My Valas of the world, you know, Thorns of the world. I want to see how she compares to those people. The reason you need the plus 10 weapon is all, on these characters in this game, when you're let, when you get them to mythic plus and you're unlocking their special weapon, there's going to be one of the break points on here where it adds another big effect for a lot of characters. It's plus five. Her plus five just gives her a little bit more scaling on the shield that she gives to allied summons. Her Excuse me, her plus 10 feeds the allied summon with the highest attack drugs. And when she gives them those drugs, she casts a spell on them and it transforms them into a giant. My thought here is this. If she casts that on Mr. Carlisle from our girl Cecia uh, here, we might have giant Mr. Carlisle just slapping things down. And I want to see if that works, if it's strong, all of that. So this is just a first impressions video, not really a guide, but we're just going to go straight into Necro Dragon and see how that works. Now, I'm going to drop, um, I kind of need Coco and Smokey. Let's just drop Vala and let's go for a summon team. Vala's like my best carry here, but we're going to throw out our girl. Now she's a warrior, so I think she's going to like run in here and fight. That's fine. I need him hooked up on the, let's just see what happens. I want to see if we get gigantic Mr. Carlisle. That's what I want to see. Okay. So she stays back and she's summoning. We have a lot. Okay. I can already see how like there's going to be some weird like necro dragon type things going on right here because he's going to start pooling wherever she's putting out people. There's big hammer friend and what's happening. Did Carlisle get the buff? Has she used her buff yet? I don't even know. We're dropping missiles on everybody. Carlisle's all these. There's a lot of good guys on the field. That's what I'm going to say. We're kind of wrecking this, honestly. Like, we're doing work. I'm curious to see how much of that work is her doing. I mean, I should say her children doing. This is the child labor goddess of the world. Okay, Carlisle just got... Everybody just died. Okay, this is not my highest score on Necro Dragon. Unless Thorin comes out here in like 1v9s, which he is not going to do. Okay, so, let's see what she did. She did the most damage on my team. Okay, so, she outperformed Cecia right there. Was this an ideal comp for her? I don't know what an ideal comp for her even looks like, to be honest. I think a mistake I made there, and we'll do one more run with her, and I'm going to keep using Cecia, because I feel like Cecia is sort of um, a nice, a nice component to her i don't want coco to get hit by this and maybe one thing you could do with her is put her um i'm gonna throw her up here with the tank drop these two back here oh i bet you there's some positioning tricks you could do with her where you put her like all the way over here and maybe our boy just throws his spit like into weird places a lot of these bosses have mechanics that target like grouped up things so right here i got her out of it and instead have coco and cece in it. and i'm not actually sure that's much better i i see carlisle getting his buff and i think he's I, he's got this special like rainbow aura around him but so does the shield on um you know big stick child right here so big chicks all these children are out here beating up this dragon and then there's hammer bro dropping the hammer okay i mean i feel like we're doing good and then that aoe comes out and almost wipes us but this time we had enough hp left that we don't get completely wiped little child is out there life draining but the poison comes out eventually and takes us down 64.5 we're not going to hit that 70 percent break point yet on the elite challenge i bet you i can clear this elite challenge with like a real team like if i put together a team that i thought would do the best by moving her over there i mean she did perform really well like her damage is no joke i just think i almost think i need to like i like the coco bit here because it's really buffing all of them i like the idea of carlisle coming out and getting the buffs i wonder if there, there's maybe it's rowan that needs swap there, there's something you could do here that i think would work just fine um 
But there we go. There's my first use of her at all. I couldn't tell if Mr. Carlisle was getting some like crazy buff and getting big. Did anybody else see that? I don't know. Okay, let's do arena. So here's a real test. Top 10 arena fights. Let's just see what we can do. We're at 578k. Let's fight somebody who Sono is basically tied with us. That's 577. So this is an even match. Here's his defense. Now he's got teleporter boy. He's got Vala out here. Typically what I do is I use my Vala to like snipe their back line. Let's say I drop her and go like this. I'll give, I'll hook her. Oh no, that's why I'm not hooking up right there. Let's go like this. Ooh, that's a bad play. Um, You know what? I just can't use the hook because he's actually putting it right here. This is a good, this is a clever play. So Rainer, whoever I put here, Rainer's going to drop him into the back line. I could put Tamisha here, but then Rainer, but then their Vala targets her. This is a clever defense setup. I'm just going to not hook anybody up to him. I don't know that that's great. Let's see. I'm going to put, I'll put haste on. Sure. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see how this does. This is basically an even matchup. We are using the new chick. They are not using the new chick. Let's see how that works. We get our energy boost going. My Tamija has been deleted. Okay. Here comes some children. Big hammer. Okay. Big hammer drop on the back line was cool. Carlisle's out. Our summons all have shields, but our... Our tank just got, no, no, somebody just got teleported off the screen. I think it was Rowan. Vala is just assassinating us. So right there, the problem we ran into was no, once Tamisha died, I lacked the backline access to somehow kill the Vala. And what I could do instead, if I like had that same fight again, would be to, um, and I'll try to find the same fight again if I can, um, Linen, 576. This one's really close. So I needed to deal with the Vala in some like meaningful way. And I just didn't right there. Here, let's drop. I'm going to drop Vala again. We're going to try this. I forgot to check my damage meters last time. I could. My Damien is at what? Like, I don't know. I don't feel like that's worth trying. I don't feel like that's worth doing. I'm going to do... What's he running right here? Some assassins, some snipers. I'm gonna run Vala. Here's my best three carries. Let's see which one of them. And I'll 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 have her boost him just for, you know, so she can pop off. Let's see what they can do into this. I think I should have run the lockdown summoner spell last time as well to give me a little bit better chance. But here we go. Let's see. So there's our sniping. And that snipe is big because it gives you that backline access and it gives you the stun. So here's our first summon. Here comes little child with big hammer. Okay. We kind of annihilated the back line. That was Vala ulting and Flora Bell ulting at the same time. And was Carlisle also dropped at the same time? And is Carlisle bigger than he used to be? Maybe let's see what the damage numbers from that look like. So your damage numbers there, floor bell out damaged everybody. 101.3 million damage from her. She also heals a little bit. CCA healed more, like that's healing Carlisle. Um, okay. And obviously, Look at their stupid tank doing the most damage. That's why this guy is nerfed in honor duel right there. He's just AOEing. Look at this guy. Brown, brown, brown. What the hell is this? What the heck is this character? Um, okay. That seemed pretty good. But we obviously had a huge wombo combo set up right there. So I want to watch the replay. Can we slow it down? Okay, I'm gonna watch the replay until we drop the wombo combo on their back line. So there's Vala's first ult, which again, Vala's first ult, and I'm gonna pause this. Vala's first ult basically just stunned the Cecia. Now here comes summon, uh, Vala ults the back line, big kid summon comes out, Carlisle comes out. Carlisle didn't even hit that. That was just the Vala Florabelle combo completely obliterated their back line. Completely obliterated their back line. I don't know what they're doing running the healing summoner spell. I feel like that's throwing, but then we just clean that up. Okay. I think some people set their defenses and like forget what they set. At least I feel like that's what happened there. All right. Um, let's, I liked that comp. 
Let's try it again. Let's see if we can find a higher ranked person than us. Sorcerander is 22,000 power ahead of us. Okay. Running Avala again, which I don't love. But let's go. I have an idea. I have an idea. Watch this. I'm going to go Florabelle tank. My, sn uh, no, I want, okay. I'm going to set my, set floor bell up. I'm going to try to use her as kind of an off tank here, actually. And then I'm going to run Rowan. So, they are shooting. Ooh, no, that's not who I want you to shoot. You need to go over here. And you need to go over here. F. Okay, hold on. I need... I want... There. Okay. So now it's a sniper duel between our Valas, but my Vala is covered by my tanks AOE. Rowan, I'm a, or yeah, okay. You can stand over there. Um, and then let's see if we can blow up their healers. I'll run haste again. Let's see. I'll run it at one X speed. Let's, let's break this down a little bit. Okay. So Tanks are tanking. We're, Valas are trading shots with each other. So far, so good. There, Rowan gets his ult off first. They're going to AoE my whole team right here. It's going to be pretty rough because their Rowan going first hurts. Okay. There's... Okay, we actually just snipe their Vala. And now, there's Carlisle into... Did we get locked down? But yeah, they're running the lockdown. So this one's a little bit more awkward for us. We're actually just having the kids fight. So we didn't get the giant summon into the back line. At least, no, we did get the giant summon into the back line. I just missed it. There's a whole lot that goes on in these fights. Even at 1x speed, I missed it. And honestly, at 1x speed, I'm not used to... Oh, God dang it, I didn't look at the damage breakdown. I hate that there's not a history. Right? Like, that sucks. I want to see what I just did. Well, challenge again. Okay, let's let's do something like that again. Um, refresh. 578 is what we're at. I want to find something similar to that. 555 isn't bad, but I have more refreshes. 574. So, Charles Bray right here at 574. We'll take him on. And it's on my least favorite map. Great. Okay, boom. There's the kind of combo. And I'll actually put my Vala here because she has an easier time like resetting if she catches aggro and drops it. So we're targeting their Cecia. I'm going to watch this at 1x or at 2x because I'm just more used to that. I will continue to use this. There's a history. I just looked at it. Oh, okay, cool. How did I not know that? Okay, I'm going to watch this at 2x speed. So, tanks are ulting. I'm watching her ult. Boom, boom. Here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. Drop the babies. Drop the babies. Baby drop. And then archers, Vala. They tanked that pretty well. Now, they had Coco up. But look, even though they had Coco, like, mitigate that. There is now Carlisle and a whole bunch of children running around this fight. Shooting arrows and hitting things with hammers. Like, bonk. Look at that hammer smack. Carlisle does look a little bigger than normal, I gotta say. Okay, Grave Jumper is still annoying as hell. Like, there's no change there. But let's see what let's see what our, our damage ends up being at the end of this thing. 2x. Let's clean it up. So I don't know if she's like busted OP, but the people who I saw kind of saying that they didn't think she was very good, I disagree with that. She is performing well, I think. Now, where's this history button that I didn't see? Is it this one? This is a history of my fights. Okay, so in the Sorcerander fight that we saw a second ago, can I look at, there it is. So my tank actually did the most damage. So yeah, in this fight, in the in the big in the fight with this against the smoky Rowan and where their tank just tanked everything up, Cecia was our best carry. In the fight against Lennon, Florabelle was the best carry. Typically, it looks like my like grouped up formations tend to get slapped by this guy. This is all good info. Um, in the Sono fight, which I lost. 
really I lost this because I think Tamisia just didn't do anything for me. Oh no, this is the one where Vala sniped her out, but she didn't live long enough and Vala ended up just resetting on my whole team. Yeah, that'll happen. And then all, not gonna read that one out loud, but four hours ago, oh, I lost to Dianel. Well, first time I've seen him. Anyway, okay, we're on a three game win streak. Let's win some more. Let's see what we can do. Um, Xanath, the rank one person, obviously I'm not fighting 300,000 power higher than me. I would like to, Fresh Neeks is at least higher than me in the rankings right now. What am I ranked like 11th? Well, I'll fight the person in 10th and see if I get more than eight points. Okay, so let's drop the, let's drop the lineup. Obviously Thorin, what's he running with? He's got the Vala. So let's have, I'm going to set up the, the, the Vala on Vala like snipe off here. I'll let them just trade into each other. I'm going to stick Rowan here. Cecia here. Florabelle here. Here we're testing to see if she has the range to hit over this wall. Like if I put them behind this wall, is that effective? Can they do work for me? And I'm going to run the lockdown this time. When I'm playing against the Valas, I like to run the lockdown, even though it's going to lock down. Actually, I'm not Vala on Vala trading, which could be a problem for me. But I did successfully tank their Vala, and I'm going to drop my backline damage. So Vala ulted in. That's trouble. But here comes my ults. Here comes my ults. Someday in my dreams. Nope, we got comboed. So here, my grouping didn't work. Um... I thought, okay, so my mistake there was they covered their Vala with Viperion and I missed it. I was too focused on my own strategy. Let's try that fight again if we can. Can I find him? Give me rank 10 again. I must not be 11 because Black Spot's 11. Well, no, I'm not 11 anymore. No, I'm 10th. How did I go up in rank? I thought I just got, but anyway, well, that's a thing. Okay, let's fight. So. Find somebody about my power. Sorcerander, higher than me. Cut Lord, Psycho, give me somebody close. It's kind of difficult to find fights that are worth looking at sometimes. Okay. I guess we take the layup. We take the layup. Let's see how she does in a beatdown matchup. We got our same lineup as before. Vol is targeting the Smokey. Um, we'll keep the haste online. Go for it. Okay, the babies are coming out. More babies coming out. Bang, bang. Big baby in the back line. Carlisle came out into the big baby. Smacks. Yeah, that is insane. So I really do like the combo of Carlisle and the big baby. You don't want them at exactly the same time because they both do. I feel like they both do crowd control. If you can go like one. And then the next, that feels pretty strong. Now, obviously, we were going to win that fight. Our biggest, again, she is the most damaged. She's at least as good as these other carries in PvP, I got to say. Okay, we can mess with that more later on stream. Let's try some AFK stages real quick. Let's jump into some AFK stages. Let's collect our loot. Uh, we got a 1.6 million stage right here. This is a boss stage. One thing that she's going to offer my account is another big time character on these really hard stages. So let's just see what she does here. Go for it. I'm wondering because like right here, only having the one tank on these really hard like boss fight stages has been a problem for me. Like he dies and if I don't have, like there's Carlisle who can help tank. Now here's Big Baby. Here's the combo. Deleted him. Deleted him. Now stage two, I can at least on stage two, well, this comp's still fine. I like Tamisia probably better than him. Nah, not for this. Um, Shield bro or Merrily? Let's try Merrily over Shield bro. And if not Merrily, then, uh, then Tamisia. But these, these second fights on these boss stages are easier than the, um, than the first fight. The first fight is the one you really got to worry about. And so these, as long as you can tank it up a little bit, then get your DPS online, you'll win. 
I say that, carry me, Smokey. Or not Smokey, carry me, Odie, and he will. Okay, great. Odie with his little executes. That's a trash wave. The first fight is that boss fight. So, damage numbers from fight one. Look at that. She tops the charge her and she is good. It looks like she's going to be good in this as well. So let's do another. I'll do the hardest not boss mode. I not boss round I have. So here we have level 218 stuff versus my 180. So we're about that 40 power level difference. Hydrate. Good call, Okami Chronicle. And thank you for the follow. Emma, I would give you a baby dollar tomorrow, but I'm not at school. So nope. Um, okay. Let's snipe these archers with Vala. Vala still, off. I can't actually. Vala still offers this unique thing right here. She's kind of like, I guess right now, she sort of is like, I, I, I want to say like a Cecia 2.0. Because there's Carlisle, here's Big Hammer Baby, and there's the AoE from the Summoner spell, and the back line is just toast. Feels good. She feels good. Um, Okami Chronicle, I'll post the video tomorrow. Let's just say they were the exact opposite of blessed. Like, my, my day's been great. Thank you for that. And, and honestly, this, um, the banners here are so good that, like, the, bat, the polls going bad didn't really bother me. But uh, I pitied her all the way to Legendary. <laughs> Like, we hit pity. We got a maxed out girl right here. Well, level 180. She's Supreme Plus. Pity, 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 pity. The whole way. Lovely. Okay, what I will say. I, I want to end this video by saying that she was outperforming Cecia by just a little bit. I think that's probably the closest comp from what I've seen. But... Her weapon's plus 10, Cece's is only plus 5. But Cece's big boost... Cece's big boost is the, the unlocking of it, is rank 1. So, I should level Cece's weapon more. I don't have the mats right now to really fairly compare it. But there was the game modes. So, if you're watching this as a YouTube VOD, there's my kind of uh, early impressions of the unit. She seems like, she seems great. At, at a maxed out state, as a pay-to-win state, or if you saved, hey, if you've been saving tickets and you got her to, what is it called? I always want to say Supreme Plus. Yeah, it is Supreme Plus. That's what I should say. And you got her and the child labor friends. She's going to do what you just saw. Now, I always did have her paired with Cecia. I, I think I'll try replacing Cecia with her in some comps and see if it works as well. I think so. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Peace.